The name of this tutorial is I Determine You, also known as A Determines B. Presented by Bob Dust. Entities are the basic building blocks of a data model. And entities have one of four types. A person, a place, a thing, or event. In keeping with the theme of a school, let's look at each one of these. Here we see a person. Entities are the basic building blocks of a data model. And entities have one of four types. A person, a place, a thing, or event. In keeping with the theme of a school, let's look at each one of these. Here we see a person, who is a student. A place, which could be a college. In this case, our famous college bookstore. A thing. Every entity needs a way to identify each member in a group of members for that entity. For example, if you set a group of students, if we track students in our data model, we need a way to uniquely identify each student individually so that we only get the one student that we are interested in. Let's consider our options for student. We could use the student's last name. Well, that doesn't work because we have two students with the last name is Smith. We could use the student's first name. That doesn't work because we have two paths. We could use the student's forename. As you see, that does not work either. If we could have two students with the same forename. We could use birthday. As you see, that doesn't work either in case of twins or even just two students having the same birthday. So none of these are appropriate. So let's consider student ID and social security, social security number. Both of these are unique numbers assigned to each student. We will use student ID because, well, we want to keep social security numbers secure. So we can say that giving a student ID, we can determine one and only one value for any student's last name, first name, GPA, credits, and major. As you see here, we clicked on student, we chose student 101, and we have one and only one value for each one of those, and because it's student ID 101, we get one student. And for student ID 102, we get one and only one value for first name, last name, birth date, GPA, credits, and major. So with student ID 102, we only get one student returned, which is what we want. So for the student entity, we can say that student ID determines a student. In other words, A determines B, or student ID determines the student's last name, first name, GPA, credits, and major. Notice that the student ID does not determine a student's instructor, class, or grade, because a student can have more than one instructor, a student can have more than one class, and a student can have more than one grade because each class has its own grade. Remember, a determinant determines one and only one value for an attribute at this point in time.